Hey everybody, what's up? Just wanted to react to a video that Robert Kennedy just released on his YouTube channel. And it's just, uh, it's of Brett Weinstein who is on Rogan's, uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. And it's just a video of them essentially uh, endorsing them. I haven't seen the full video yet, but I'm going to react to it. And we'll talk about it a little bit after. The problem is the folks who have been loyal Democrats who will vote blue no matter who need to wake up. That party has been captured by something that is not interested in the well-being of the country, of the West, of the citizens. It is time for them to go. Personally, Correct. I think RFK Jr. is the solution to this problem. I don't know that anybody can solve the problem of the can capture. Can he win? Uh, yeah. Is there a pathway that he could become the president? Yep. Uh, there are multiple pathways. That said, do I expect it to, to go that way? Um, I think we all need to start thinking differently. I think we need to recognize that the capture of our system is such a profound threat to the well-being of the country, to the future of our kids and grandkids, that whatever needs to happen for us to come together and usher those people out in favor of something that is at least just not part of that plan has to happen. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, the best shot we've got is Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy is highly intelligent. I think he is deeply patriotic. And I know from interacting with him and watching what he said that he's also courageous. And I really feel like the story, his origin story, makes this like Odysseus returning to the manor. Right, stringing the bow. That this is this is that iconic moment, and the reasons that I think it's uh, Kennedy and not Trump, in terms of our best shot, is that Kennedy is a brilliant thinker, and he is encyclopedic in his knowledge. And to whatever extent that this is a difficult problem, he's the guy who understands how you address difficult problems, and he will gather the right people, and he will figure out what the best approach is. Whether there's any approach that's plausible, I don't know, but I'm, I'm convinced that he will address it seriously. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, that was very, very well said. Um, you, you know, the first thing I want to say is, I mean, Brett, Brett Weinstein, I mean, he's, he said it perfectly. You, you can't even put it in any better words than that. And the, the part I want to talk about there the most is when he said, you know, it's Robert Kennedy, not Trump. That's the part that people really need to understand, especially from the, the side of the, the right and the left who think that Robert Kennedy and Trump are somehow the same thing, which is ridiculous. And the reason that Robert Kennedy is the guy and not Trump is simply for the fact that Trump was in there for four years. Yes, there were some good things, the economy, the peace deal with North Korea, uh, the First Step Act program, those things were good. Not starting any new wars. Perfect. He did not drain the swamp. He did not end the wars. And obviously he's got some shady dealings in the past. I'm not talking about like the, the current trials. I'm talking about things like Trump University. right? And Trump was in there for four years, did not do what he said he was going to do. So if you're a, a MAGA supporter, and, and I completely understand where you're coming from, I agree with what you're saying about what's happening to the country. It's just that Trump's not the right guy to do it, and we've seen it before. You got to give Kennedy a chance. And I understand this whole, well, I don't want to vote for him because that might be a vote for Biden if Robert Kennedy doesn't get enough support and it splits the right vote. I get it. But you have to be like Robert Kennedy, and you have to vote courageously. You have to vote for who you really think is the right choice to lead this country. And right now, if you think it's Trump or you think it's some clown from the Democratic Party, whoever that's going to be, you're, you're wrong. I understand where you're coming from if you are a MAGA Republican. I know it may not seem like that because it's like, well, you're kind of a left-leaning libertarian Canadian. It's like, yeah, but I understand why people are mad. I understand why you see a lot of fuck Trudeau shirts here in Canada. Flags. People have like banners on their cars. I get it. I'm angry too. We do need a change, but we need to make sure that we select the right people to do it. 
We need to make sure that we have someone who can, like Brett Weinstein said, think very deeply and intelligently and then surround himself with the best people. I do believe Robert Kennedy is the best guy to do that. If Robert Kennedy was not running, I'd be supporting Trump. If it's just going to be another Democrat versus Republican, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to vote or support for any kind of a rhino Republican, and I'm not supporting a, a, um, a corporate Democrat. And before Trump, those are the only two options. So at least we kind of have something different. Still a Republican, and in my opinion, he's still 80, 90% establishment, but at least he's not full establishment. At least he didn't start any new wars. There were good things about Trump. Not enough, though. There's way more good things about Robert Kennedy. Again, I don't agree with Robert Kennedy on the Israel thing. That does concern me that it could start a war with Iran. But I don't think he's foolish enough or cowardly enough to let his emotions get the better of him and start what could lead to World War III. I trust Robert Kennedy way more than any other politician. And I'm trying. I'm here trying to convince you to, to feel the same way. If you don't, that's fine. You, you get your vote. You can support whoever you want. But if you are supporting, especially if you're supporting a Democrat, you are supporting status quo. And what really, really pisses me off about that is a lot of people who will vote that way tell people that if you don't vote, you can't complain. But yet they vote, they get what they want, and then they complain. That's stupid. You're voting for the disappearing of the middle class. You're voting for wars. You're voting for Wall Street. You're voting for big pharma. You're voting for big tech. And then you're going to complain when there's tyranny? What yeah, well, you voted for? You got what you wanted. This is why we need to not let everyone vote. And again, I'm not saying it should be based off of gender or race or religion or anything like that. But you should have to understand politics at least a little bit. Even if you don't agree with their politics, you, you can't. If you're so dumb where you're going to vote for someone like Trudeau and then complain about what's happening under Trudeau, how in the world are you intelligent enough to get a vote? You're not. You don't know enough yet. That, is, that doesn't mean you can, you're always going to be like that. You can learn, but you should have to learn something, at least a few things about politics and a few things about policies and what happens and how they work before you are allowed to cast a vote. I don't know what those, there are all kinds of different requirements. You know, should you have to serve in some sort of government office or in the military? Should there be some sort of a test? There's different ways you can do it, but we need to start focusing on that as well. More intelligent voters means more intelligent politicians, and the corrupt ones won't get away with it as long because we're going to vote their asses out. But as long as you have stupid people voting, we're going to keep getting corporate Democrat, rhino Republican, no independents. Uh, I hate what's going on, but I'm going to vote for it. It just drives me nuts. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys feel the same. I know some of you are going to disagree with Trump. I, I read my comments. I know a lot of you are Trump supporters. I understand that. Again, he's my second choice by default. But please listen to Brett Weinstein. Joe Rogan has also endorsed Robert Kennedy before. Listen to these people and vote with intelligence because... We don't have much more time. I'm not trying to predict like some doomsday thing here. I'm just saying things are getting worse for the middle class. We don't have much longer before we're all gone. And we're all just going to be poor people. And then we're truly, truly fucked. Then we're, we can't, we won't have any power. I don't even know if we, we'd still have elections, I'm sure. I don't think we're going to go full communist like China, but maybe we would. We can't let that happen. The more poor people there are, the more powerful the, the more power the government has, and if they yield that power in a in a wrong way, which Trudeau already has, like Biden already has, then we're in big trouble. You cannot allow this tyranny to happen or continue. We need a change, and Robert Kennedy is the guy to make that change.